in the air. Catching and throwing up here is very different than catching and throwing down here. It's a learned skill. The draw is all muscle memory. It's all it is. You just have to do it enough so that you get comfortable, comfortable with it. What I used to do at club practices, at high school practices, in between drills, during water breaks, I would walk around and I'd just snag the ball like this. I'd walk and snag. I didn't really think I was doing anything. I didn't really think I was practicing the skill. Doing that alone helps me get more comfortable catching and finding the ball up here. Because it's all about figuring out how long your arms are, how high you can jump, how short your torso is. So if you look at me and my sister, we're a little different. I, the only reason that I can even kind of beat her in draws because I have really long arms and I can jump. So we have to kind of kind of getting self-aware with our bodies and figuring out how where the ball needs to be in the air so that I can snag it. So all I want you guys to do for this part of your wrist workout, I'm just gonna talk the ball up, straight arm it. Why do we not want to bend our bend our arms? Who knows? Tina? Why do we not want to bend our arms? You can get higher. Can you stand the ball here, quicker here, or here? Here. So we want, the draw is all about those half inches. Those little things that you do to get the ball quicker than your opponent. One of them, the easy one, is making sure our arms are nice and straight. 